first of all, we're going to stand for the national anthem played by the Gate City High School Band. after an outstanding performance by the band. And we're gonna have the John Battle Trojans introduced first. Number 12, Todd Bowen. Bowman, excuse me, gonna be at center. And number 22, Lance Lovins. Mike Johnson. John Pritchard, number 30, going to be at a forward. And number 40, Marty Rowe, line, rounding out the lineup. So the coach of John Battle going to a different lineup tonight as they were defeated by Till Howie uh, last night. Okay, now we're ready for Gate City's lineup. Hensley, a 5'10 senior at guard, number 32. Hensley, one of the most, one of the best playmakers in Southwest Virginia. Arthur Ferguson, number 12, a senior at the other guard position. Ferguson's outside shooting has been a key to opening up the middle this year. And at center number 54, Chris Shelf. The animal has arrived. At forward. 6'3", junior, number 50, Rusty Pendleton. Probably one of the best juniors in the Island District. And, of course, we have rounding out the All-State candidate, number 24, a senior at forward, Kevin Moose Morris. Okay, we're ready for action. We've got the band, we've got the cheerleaders, we've got the fans, and you've got TV 30. I'm P.J. Grinsell with Gary Wallen. And the action's all here at Gate City right now, and if you're not here, then you're going to miss what's going to be a well of a ball game. You better be at Virginia High Friday night because these devils are going to take a district championship and bring it back for a second consecutive year. Okay. We're going to give you a brief rundown now on the schedule, and we have a technical called on probably one of the devil players during warm-ups and uh, got caught dunking again. Okay, so quickly, John Battle goes out to a 1-0 lead. That free throw, was, I believe, was hit by number 12, Todd Bauman. Okay, the Trojans will inbound to half court. They'll inbound to Bauman. Going over the starting line once again, you have Bauman, Gibson, Lant, Lovins, Pritchard, and Rowe. There, there you see number 12, Bowman. He has the ball out to number 30. Three-point jumper won't go. Ferguson with the rebound. Ferguson brings it down court quickly to Morris. Morris sets things up. Back to Ferguson. John Battle in a zone. They're collapsing down on Shelton on the inside. Ferguson back to Morris. Morris going to pull up from about 16. Shot is nothing but net. Two for Morris, and the Devils are out early 2-1. I'm surprised to see them double-teaming uh, Shelton this early in the ballgame, Ivan. I mean, P.J.? <laughs> 
John Battle working it up against Gate City's press. They do so effectively. Number 12, Bowman with the ball. Going to drive all the way. He's in, caught in the lane. He puts the shot up over two. No good. Rebound comes down to number 14. He shot up over Shelton. Again, no good. Rebound comes down to Ferguson. Kicks it out to Pendleton. Down court to Hensley. From 16, shot off the backboard. Won't go. Re rebound comes down to number 30, Pritchard, for John Battle. Pritchard is a kid that we're going to have to watch because he's a good ball player and he can shoot from outside. Number 12, Bauman has the ball now, looking for some help. Pritchard back to Bauman. He's going to take, no, thought about the three, will not take it. Gate City in a box and one defense. And they work it back to Pritchard. He'll take the three. His shot is no good. Rebound comes down to number 12 inside, number 22, excuse me. And number 14 puts the shot up and in. That's Mike Johnson for two. The Devils bring it down court quickly again. Morris from three. Shot is up. Bang for Kevin Morris. He is on fire early. The Devils want Morris to get hot and get a lot of those three-point shots. Hensley, good defense, knocks the ball out of bounds on the inbounds pass. It will stay in Battle's hands. Shelton, they call timeout to allow Shelton to retie his shoe. Inbounding is number 14, Johnson. Johnson looks for some help. Gets it into Sean Pritchard. He's double teamed. Quickly up to Lovins. Number 12, Bauman has it. They get it back to Pritchard. Pritchard deadly from the outside. He pulls up. Passes back to number 12, Bauman. He'll set the team's offense up. They get it to Lovins. Lance Lovins, number 22. And he is number 40 on the wing. It's Marty Rowe. And they eventually ends up in Pritchard's hands. From three from the corner, won't go. Rebound comes down off of the hands of Moose Morris, number 24. It'll go out of bounds to John Battle. Good, good, good de uh, effort there by Morris and try to recover that loose ball. Pritchard in bounds as they look for some help. Finally get it to Bauman. He's at the three-point land. He's going to drive, pulls it back out. Looks for some help. And he gets it back to Pritchard, number 30. Pritchard being double teamed. Now passes back to Bauman. Bauman sets the team's offense up again. New play. Over to Pritchard, looking in the corner for a row. Pritchard's now double teamed by Ferguson and Hensley. Passes to Bauman. He is double teamed by Ferguson and Morris. Does a wild pass up. May have been blocked, and yes, it was. It was tipped out of bounds by Morris, number 24. It'll remain Trojan ball. John Battle willing to uh, play it slow here and uh, wait on the shot that they wanted to get it where they want it. They know they have to hit these shots in order to uh, stay with these good ends. And they work it in the corner to Lovins. His jumper from 16 is good. Lance Lovins hits for two for John Battle as, a, as the score now tied at five, 5-5. Five, five. Over to Hensley in the corner, into Pendleton on the baseline. He looks for some help. Back to Hensley. He lob it inside to Shelton. Shelton, he is trapped. His shot, good. No. Going to wave the shot off. Foul before the shot. And it'll be on John Battle's number 40. Number 30, excuse me. They had three men on him at that right point there when the, that shot was... Questionable. Three men trying to cover him. Foul was on number 40, Marty Rowe. Morris from three again. Shot is again good. No, I'm going to call it two. Say Morris is on the three-point line. So seven to five the score. Gates in the lead. They're now trapping in the backcourt. And a foul going to be called on Jason Hensley as he collided with number 12, Bauman, near midcourt, trying to make the steal. First foul on Hensley. First team foul on Gates City. A good effort on Hensley's part. Uh, even though he committed the foul, he uh, was aggressive in going after the ball. Number 10-12, Bauman drives the lane, puts the running jumper up, rolls off. There's number 40. He hits the shot. It is good. That is Marty Rowe. Foul on a Blue Devil player. It'll be on number 50, Rusty Pendleton, picking up his first foul. Picked up two quick fouls here just in the last few seconds of this game. We hope that don't become a trend. And with the basket, that was Marty Rowe. He'll have a chance to complete the three-point play, shooting the free throw right now. It is up, no good. Rebound comes down to Rusty Pendleton. They kick it to Morris. Morris is immediately double teamed. His shot up from 18 with him. Defender in his face, no good. Shelton the rebound, puts the easy layup and Good for two, the Blue Devils up 9-7. Bauman now comes down court. He's got a three on two break. Pulls up from the foul line. He cans the jumper. Shell just went inside there and just would not be intimidated by the two or three people around him. 
Ainsley standing at the three line to Ferguson. Ferguson thought about the three. He is going to take it. It will not go. There's Morris to the rebound. His jumper up and good from four. This ball game is now 11 to 9. Gate City in the lead. Putting good pressure in the backcourt. They get it to Bowman. Bowman weaves his way past the half court line. And he's going to set the Blue Devil offense up, being hounded by Hensley. Bowman looks for some help. Gets it out to Pritchard. Pritchard, a three-point weapon, had 25 points against Joe Howie last night. And number 12, Bowman. Oh, they're going to say he had it tipped away. Not a backcourt violation. They've seen a man-to-man -man defense now. Pritchard from just inside the three line. Rebound, Morris kicks it out to Ferguson quickly. Arthur runs it up the floor. And he tried to pull up, had it blocked. Shelton, jumper, no good. They tip the rebound out to number 40 row of John Battle, and Bowman will set things up. Uh, this, this battle team is, is playing very aggressively here in the last few minutes and, and uh, trying to go with Gate City and seeing what they can work, work in against them. Uh, I'm surprised at how hard they're working on Shelton tonight. Number 14's jumper, no good. Hensley comes down, he's got a two-on-one break, passes to Morris, and let's see what the call is. Gonna say Hensley traveled with the ball before making the pass. And quickly into the ball game, a substitution. Number 42 comes in to check, replace number 22. 42 being um, McCall, and number 22 being Lovins. Uh, sometimes these devils move so fast that they forget where they're going and they actually get ahead of themselves. Saw that evident on that call. Bauman being hounded by Ferguson, looking for some help. Gets it to number 42, that is McCall. He is double teamed. They'll give it back to Bowman. He'll set the offense up. 11-9 to score. Bowman spins, puts a shot up in the lane, blocked by Shelton. And the rebound collected by Hensley. Hensley comes down. He has Morris trying to alley-oop him. Hensley's shot no good. May have been fouled, but no call. The fans unhappy with it. So now Bauman will come down. No pressure on him. The fans very unhappy with that call. They felt like that there should have been a foul out when he went up for that shot. Bauman looking for some help, gets it to McCall, hands off to Bauman. They're stacking it up, Gates seeing a man-to-man -man defense. Bauman trying to work on Ferguson. They get it to number 14, his shot blocked by Shelton. Two blocks for Shelton, and number 14, Johnson loses the ball out of bounds. At Gate City will bring it up court by means of Jason Hensley. Gate City very content to work for the shot right now. Morris passes inside to Shelton. He puts the jumper up. The layup, good, over a John Battle player. Good inside work by Shelton. 13-9 the score. We're down under two minutes, 141. Left to play in the first period. As John Battle trying to hurry across the half-court line. Finally, they make it. Bauman has the ball. He's being guarded by Ferguson. Looks out on the wing to McCall. They get it inside to Pritchard. His shot, no good. Bauman with the tip in. It is good. They're giving a warning to John Battle not to hit the ball out of bounds after a basket. Morris weaving, puts the shot up, and he is fouled. Foul going to be called on number 30 of John Battle. That is Sean Pritchard, his first foul. Team's second foul. Not a whole lot of foul been going on here, although it has been a very physical game. The referees have not called uh, a lot of fouls, and I guess some that some of the fans would have liked to have seen called. Uh, Morris uh, puts the first one up, and it bounces off. This is very unusual for Morris. Uh, usually a very uh, dependable foul shooter. eyes the bucket shoots and he hits the second one rolls around goes in 14 to 11 the lead for the Blue Devils as the John Battle passes around trying to work it up court it's in the hands of Pritchard he works it up and is double teamed by Hensley and Pendleton passes to Rowe Rowe on the baseline gonna drive shot up over Shelton no good rebound tipped out and picked up by Bauman nice job of hustling by Bauman he's at the foul line gonna pull up for the jumper no out number 42 McCall from three-point land no, going to give him two on that one for McCall. His foot was about six inches across the line on that one, BJ. 16 to 13 to score. We're under a minute left to play in the first quarter. 40 seconds to be exact. They have Morris open on the wing. Hensley instead going to take the jumper from 18. No problem for him. Two for Jason Hensley. We talk about the ability of Gate City's players for everybody to put it up, and that Hensley 
made them a believer right there. You can't leave these boys open. Rose turn around, jumper in the lane, over shot, and won't go. Chris with another rebound. He gives to Morris. Morris eyes a clock. It's down to 15 seconds. Up to Hensley. Hensley has Ferguson wide open. He won't take the three, but he'll wait. Give it to Morris. Morris sets things up. Eight seconds left. Morris going to drive. Weaves his way. Shot up. No. Off the rim. Ferguson puts the shot up with two seconds. Won't go. Pendleton's tip in. Won't go either. So at the end of one period of play, Gate City was a slim 16-13 lead home health care needs, such as a wheelchair, hospital bed. First quarter stats, looking at John Battle's team, um, Bauman led all scores for Battle with five points in the first quarter. Uh, following up were several players with two apiece, among them Mike Johnson, Lance Lovins, Matt McCall, and Marty Rowe. So all the starters except um, Shannon, Sean Pritchard, who's been an explosive weapon from the outside and scored. Gate City keeping wraps on Pritchard as the Horn Sounds getting ready for the second, the second quarter of action. In the first quarter for Gate City, Morris had 10, Hensley had two, and Sheldon had four points and about, what, three or four block shots. So it's a, a very uh, aggressive team as far as Gate City is concerned. And Morris, as Gary well pointed out, 10 points already. He's starting off one of his typical nights. Ferguson has the ball as this Gate City in bounty. He lobs into Shelton. Shelton's layup won't go. And they tip it around. Ferguson comes up with it, tries to dish it in. It's a struggle for it. And finally, it's tipped out of Hensley. Hensley going to drive, dish it into Shelton. Again, Shelton gets his shot, but they're going to say no shot. Foul whistled on a John Battle player on number 40, or excuse me, that'll be number 14 picking up the foul. Mike Johnson, his first foul. As the Gate City team stacks at the foul line, Ferguson will inbound. Hensley, Pendleton, Morris, and Shelton, and they break. They inbound it to Hensley. Hensley fakes off, gives to Morris from just inside the three line, and it's good. Two more for Kevin Moose Morris. 18 to 13 the score. I'm impressed with the way that they're going on Shelton. They're keeping two men almost on him constantly tonight. John Battle works it up supremely. Number 44 now into the ball game. David Blankenship for a battle. They work it to Pritchard. Pritchard gonna pop the jumper from 16. It won't go. Rebound tipped out, picked up by Jason Hensley. Two on two break. He lobs it up to Morris. Morris running layup. Oh my, in and out. And the rebound comes down to Sean Pritchard of John Battle. Number 12, Bauman, Todd Bauman, bringing it up. He's being guarded by Ferguson. Bauman gonna move to his left, pass to number 14. Shot up, blocked by Shelton, another block. That's three on the night for Chris Shelton. Very good move by Chris Shelton there. He saw him going for the shot and just timed it just right and was able to get that hand up there and tip the ball completely out. Okay, as you heard the horn sound, super sub, Tony the Terminator Bellamy in off the bench, number 40. Shot by number 42, in and out McCall. Rebound, Bellamy immediately contributes. Quick pass up to Morris. Immediately, number 42 McCall comes out to greet Morris. Bellamy at the top of the circle, over to Hensley. Inside to Shelton, they're gonna work Shelton. Back to Hensley from three. Jumpers up and good. Three points shot by Jason Hensley. Score 21-13, Gate City in the lead. Gate City is starting to pull away just a little here in this second quarter, but I don't look for him to pull too far too fast. Down number 12, Bama gonna drive, dish off to number 14, shot blocked by Shelton. Long pass up court to Hensley. His driving layup is good for two. And Gate City on a spurt, they lead by 10 now. And the John Battle coach wants a timeout saying, hey gang, things are not going right. This John Battle coach has to be wondering what's happened here all of a sudden. You know he's got to talk to him and try to settle him down and see if we can't uh, make some changes and try to shut Shelton off. He's got Morris who's just scoring almost at will. And then Hensley comes back in and he's just burning the net up. He's got uh, five points here in just in the second quarter. Uh, that makes him a total of uh, seven already for the night and you're just early into the second quarter. So uh, this team can shoot from anywhere and all of these kids are able to burn you. So John Battle's got to be looking to watch everybody. They've been putting uh, two men on top of Sheldon, and any time you double team, you've got to leave somebody open. And apparently, I think Hensley's the one they've been leaving open. So, you know, it remains to see what happens here. And we've seen Morris and Hensley, Ferguson, they've all picked up the scoring. That's as John Battle doubling down on Shelton. Okay, 6-0-7 left to play before the half. Gate City leading 23-13.
It'll be number 12, Ballin bringing it up court. Passes to Sean Pritchard. They work it up and ends up in Bowman's hands. He's going to spin back around to the left. He's being guarded by Bellamy as Gates City in a man-to-man -man defense. Bellman going to drive. He looks for some help. This is inside to number 30. His shot rolls around and finally goes in. That's Sean Pritchard for two. His first two points of the night. Morris down court quickly. Going to pop it from three. It rolls in and out. Pendleton with the rebound. His shot up and good as he was crammed by two players squunched on the baseline. He increases Gate City's lead back to 10. John battled back and forth. They try to work it up court as it ends up in Pritchard's hands. He nearly loses it. Double teamed by Pendleton and Hensley. Passes over to number 42, McCall. Open from 16. No good. Pritchard puts the tip up. And good. Two points more for Pritchard. And they work it down to Morris for Gate City. Jumper in the lane is up. No good. Pendleton with the rebound. And he is fouled underneath by Sean Pritchard. Pritchard's second foul. Good effort there on, on Pendleton's part. Uh, in the lane there was very crowded and a lot of people uh, shuffling for it. But... Uh, Pendleton just went right on in and was able to go for it. As they lob it in for Shelton. Shelton's shot no good, but he was pushed. Going to be a two-shot foul call. Foul was on number 14, Mike Johnson. Johnson picking up his second foul. And we see Marty Rowe, number 40, coming back into the game. He'll replace number 14, Johnson. Johnson leads with two points. And Rowe with two checking in. And a new face coming to the game for John Battle, number 10, Teddy Gibson. Gibson, a guard, will replace Sean Pritchard, number 30. Pritchard rather cold tonight, had 25 last night, but has been held to two points. Those coming on an inside basket. Shelton's first foul shot up and rolls out. Gate City has yet to commit a foul in the first half of this ball game, Ivan. They've had very good body control, uh, very good uh, control overall. Shelton hits one out of two. Lead 26-17, Gate City now in the bonus. John Battle with five fouls. They try to work it up court. Gibson passes up to Rowe. Rowe holds it up over to Bauman. Bauman in the corner to McCall from 18. Shot over Shelton. Bounces around. Won't go. There's Rowe with the rebound. His shot up over Pendleton is good. Two more for Marty Rowe. As Gate City quickly works up to Morris. Morris driving. Puts a shot up as he falls out of bounds. An air ball picked up by Gibson. And the fans from John Battle let him know as they chant air ball for 28 left to play before the half. Bauman sets his team's offense up. Let me back up there, PJ. They, we've got two team fouls on Gate City, not zero. Morris steals it. Nice pass behind the back to Bellamy, but it's stripped away by McCall. McCall will hold it up. Referee, and a player injured. Referee has called timeout, as I believe John Battle has got a player hurt. I believe that's number 12, PJ. I we hope that he's not hurt bad. He uh, looked like he hit his head on the floor there as he went down. Uh, John Battle's coach is out checking on him right now. I believe he's all right, though. It's number 10, Todd Bauman, who's played a great game thus far for the Trojans at point guard position. Nice round of applause by good sportsmen here in the Gate City gym. Bauman will sit down. He has been a key part of the Trojan offense. Uh, I'm sure they hate to see him leave. And number 20, Barry Puckett comes checks into the game. He receives a welcome hand from the fans here at Gate City who remember him as the quarterback on the John Battle football team. John Battle inbound. Number 10, Teddy Gibson. Looks for some help. Gets it in to number 40, Puckett. Puckett looks up court. He's going to dribble and passes up and stolen away by Bellamy. Kicks it out, and finally Hensley back to Morris. Nice break up of the play by number 42, McCall. Got back good on defense. Gate City uh, making some simple mistakes here that I'm sure Coach Mason is not real pleased with, but uh, not anything that's serious. Morris making inside as he gets it into Sh Shelton. His shot no good, but he has fouled. So Gate City hammering down inside, and John Battle committing a number of fouls. Foul call to number 44 for John Battle. We have to think about when you start getting in foul trouble, what's the bench look like? And we've talked about this all year long, but you know, it is a big factor. Gay City has the bench. Uh, as Shelton hits the first shot, uh, what does John Battle have on their bench? How far can they go down? That was the first foul on David Blainship, number 44, as Shelton connects on the second one also. 28-19 the score as Gate City is in the lead. 3.50 before the half. They hit it back to Puckett. 
Hook it. Passes up court to number 42, McCall. Bucket has it, sets his team's offense up. He moves around, picked up by Bellamy. Gates in a man-to-man. -man. Hook it. It's going to take the shot. He is fouled from behind by Tony Bellamy, I think. Let's see. Going to be a call, two-shot foul. And yes, it is. Tony Bellamy picking up the foul. His first foul. He said his third team foul uh, here in the first half. Uh, Tony Bellamy is uh, a very aggressive, very good ball player. I believe they've labeled him the Terminator. First shot by Puckett, no good. He'll have one more. Shot up, and this time again, no good. Morris picks up the rebound. He heads up court. His Devils ahead, 28-19. Passes on the wing, right wing to Hensley. Inside to Shelton. Shelton's turnaround jumper, no good. And he leaned into a uh, Trojan player. Charging foul, call on Shelton. Only his first foul. Shelton uh, has been very aggressive here and been fortunate not to get in foul trouble here uh, this late in the first half. Picked off, no, knocked out of bounds by Bellamy as he tries to hustle for it. Puckett blocking him out. It'll still be John Battle Ball. Puckett did an excellent job there keeping Bellamy from getting that ball. He had a good move toward it. It's a matter of he was able to block him outside. Bucket as he is called with turning the ball over. No, good call. Traveling violation on Bucket. Good defense by Bellamy calls that one. And it'll be Gates City ball in the front court. And they're shooting the goal nearest to us. John Battle shooting at the one at the farther end. They give it to Bellamy. Bellamy shot from three. It is roll. It rolls in and out. Rebound by Gibson. They give it to Puckett. Puckett will bring it up with no one guarding him. As he crosses half court, Bellamy comes out. Down to three minutes left to play before the half. Puckett passed over. Tipped out of bounds by Bellamy and Morris. It'll still be Gay City ball on the side, or excuse me, John Battle ball on the side. Bellamy and Morris, uh, they were determined to get that ball or put it out one. Pass almost too long for Puckett. He picks it up. Thought about the three. Instead, looking to pass to someone. Pass inside to Rowe. Rowe turn around, jump shot over Shelton from 16. No good. KC passes up. Nice pass by Hensley up to Morris, and he is hammered by Rowe in the back in the act of shooting. Should be a two-shot foul. Gates City's fans very pleased with that call. Uh, I believe he was definitely up in the air when he got that one, but it was a good block on uh, John Battle's part. They did a good job of going up with him. That foul called on Marty Rowe, his second foul. As John Battle fans try to make some noise, Morris concentrating, his first shot up, nothing but net. Outstanding game for Morris. He has 13 on the night. And we have 2.42 left to play before the half. Morris with one more foul shot coming up. It's up and good. He said his fans very pleased to see him get that point under all the pressure that uh, John Battle was trying to put on him. They work it up in the hands of Rowe, back to Puckett. Puckett in the corner to McCall. McCall gonna drive. He is fouled from behind by Morris, a reaching foul. The, the first foul on Morris, and that'll put Gage City over the limit, I believe. No, that's only three fouls, four fouls, four fouls, excuse me. <laughs> and number 42, McCall, will be at the line to shoot. Uh, yes, it is, it's gonna be the 15 foul. So, they're right, I missed going out on the ball in the shoes. It is 15. The one and one missed by McCall, rebound by Morris. Long pass up court to the streaking Bellamy. Too far for Bellamy, it'll go out of bounds to John Battle. Coach Mason just kind of dropped his head and shook it. He, he, he wasn't pleased with the way that they threw that ball down court. John Battle working it up, Puckett brings it up court, passes it to McCall again in the left, in the right corner, excuse me. Back to Puckett. Puckett, as he hears a uh, crowd telling to shoot it. Shot by McCall. Arching shot from 17, good for McCall. Very impressive out shot, outside shot on McCall's part there. And Hensley comes up, looks inside, passes to Bellamy on the wing. They lob it into Shelton. His, his forceful layup, he just powers people away from him. Two more for Shelton. The lead is now 11, 32-21 for Gage City. As we're winding toward the half, 145. They get it up to Rowe. Rowe nearly traveled with it. He gets it to McCall. Bucket now with the ball. 
He looks inside. Gateson in a man-to-man -man defense. Bucket moving around the circle. And has it stripped away by Hensley. Hensley saves it. Tips it up court. And it's going to be out of bounds off the hands of Puckett. Very good effort on his part there. He just kept going for that ball and being very aggressive to the point that he came up with it. Morris has it now. Going to drive in the lane. Shot up over three Trojans. Rolls in and out. Rebound comes off of a...